Oh, here we are in East Village in Stratford. Now, East Village was built during the Olympics to host the Olympians during the Olympics. And you can see here, the buildings that are behind us were the um, Olympic Village, the homes for the Olympians during the 2012 Olympics. And what I should start to consider is how has this area changed from about half a kilometre away in Stratford Newtown, which was very much a residential area, I mean, to consider how has the environmental quality changed? If we look around here, can you see much litter? Can you see many trees, much green space? Can you see homes boarded up? Can you see um, abandoned buildings? I want you to consider all these things to see how has regeneration now changed from only half a kilometre away in Stratford Newtown to now here at the Olympic Village here in East Village. So, if we're going to start to consider these things, we're going to continue collecting data. So what we're going to do is continue with our systematic, stratified and random samples where we're going to start off um, about 50 metres away here. So doing this as a systematic sample, every 50 metres we'll collect data. And we're going to do 50 metres just before the Sainsbury's local there. You're going to do your traffic counts, you're going to do your people counts, you're going to do your environmental quality survey, you're going to do all of these things. And then once we move on, we're going to move on to here, to 50 metres away, by Victory Park sign here, and that's where we're going to do our next data collection set. And once again, our third site is going to be 50 metres down there, so that we've now got a consistent method to be able to collect data all the way through. There is, however, a problem when we're doing this. When you're doing a systematic sample of, say, every 50 metres, that is great so that we've now got three sites, but what about if you miss something that is within the 50 metres? What if there's some data that you weren't able to collect because you did it every 50 metres? That's something you must consider and to be able to think about how reliable is the data that you're collecting? How accurate is this data collection method? But there's one other thing that I want us to consider when we are um, doing this data presentation, data collection, sorry, and that is an interview. We will do questionnaires at our three chosen sites. So you'll do this at three different points at our three chosen sites. Now a questionnaire being a qualitative data collection method is a really interesting way to get people's opinions. So some of the questions, I mean, we can interview up to five people as shown on this sheet here, is do you live or work in Stratford or are you just visiting? Out of five, how do you rate the blow factors? How quality of housing, green space, public transport, what have you? And straight away, we've now got a different method, a qualitative method, to be able to see what people think of the area. Now, when you do that, you could interview every alternating person to try and make it more accurate, uh, or you can do a random sample, and you can start to think about how can you collect this data that is more representative of this area. So, we've now collected a whole range of methods. You can take photographs, you'll do your field sketch, and you've got a whole range of ideas to see how this area has changed. And if we have a look behind us, we've got Westfield. This idea of Westfield, a massive shopping centre built for the post-Olympic legacy. We've got behind it the Olympic Stadium, we've got the velodrome which we're going to walk past soon. The idea of the Olympians living here has created this Olympic legacy, this idea of rebranding. Okay, you've changed the, the, the legacy, the image of an area into a more positive one through regeneration. And I just wanted to consider, why do you think that it hasn't changed from Stratford Newtown? Why has that not seen any improvements? Why has that not seen that regeneration and rebranding of the area? Why is it something so close hasn't had that trickle down effect and growth of an area? So we're now going to be moving on to our third site, Hackney Wick. Okay, we're going to move on further through the Olympic area and we're going to see how has Hackney Wick started to see changes in its legacy. Why is that changing its branding? Um, because of this trickle down effect from the Olympics here in 2012. Some great geography in action.